Hello YouTubers, Beer Geeks and Beer Hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. Alright. This one is by... The... Brewed by Los Angeles Ale Works from Hawthorne, California. This one's called Ivy Station Juicy IPA. And it has Vic Secret, Cashmere, and Sabro hops. Fix the volume there. Eh, it's fine. So, anyways, yeah, those are the hops. And um, I've never had this before, never seen it before, nothing. Um, it says it's a juicy India pale ale. And it comes in at 7.5% alcohol by volume. And let's see here. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much that, and it's a, probably about a month old. I picked up four pints of this at um, Whole Foods for like, I don't know, 13, 14 bucks. That's what the can looks like. Pretty neat looking can, too. I've been pretty impressed with Los Angeles Ale Works, for sure. They make some pretty tasty beer. Pretty cool. Shows the city, LA or wherever, Culver City or something like that. Culver City, uh, shows Culver City. Pretty neat. So uh, let's get a crack open and see what we got here. Pretty hazy. Big Secret, Cashmere, and Sabro. Okay. It's looking good. Looks like a New England style to me. Okay. So we have a medium soft looking frothy creamy silky head a little bouncy there pretty tight looking a few big bubbles popping up in there and um, we have a light orange color pretty um pretty thick looking stuff there let me grab my light Start with the regular old, old faithful here. Pretty thick. I think it's a New England style, but they're saying it's a juicy IPA. But it looks more like a New England to me. You know? It looks almost like an OJ in the glass there. So, hey, I'm not going to argue with that because... Uh, that's my favorite style is um, New England style. Looks really good. I mean, that's a bright light, and it's you're not getting any of the sharpness really through it. Pretty nice looking beer, I must say. I'm not seeing through it, that's for sure. It's it's dense. All right, let's get an aroma on this puppy. Yeah, I'm getting some tropical type fruits. I'm getting um, like pineapple and little grapefruit, orange.
Maybe a little mango or something. Kind of complex smelling. Maybe a guava. It smells really good. It's not wafting, but it's it's pretty nice smelling. Lots of like fruity and tropical citrusy notes. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Mmm. Very nice. Orange and uh, grapefruit in the sip, big time. Yeah. Very nice. That's tasty. I would say this is more like a New England style without like um, lactose. This is this, this don't seem to have any lactose or nothing. It tastes good. It's, it's got a nice refreshing mouthfeel, like medium refreshing mouthfeel. Kind of has that little zestiness to it that I like. It's good, very good. Um, No booziness, seven and a half percent ABV. Uh, no booziness, no raw alcohol notes picking up. Pretty damn tasty. Very nice. I'd say orange and grapefruit and maybe guava are the main characters of this one. A little breadiness coming through there. It's not real heavy on the malts though. That's what makes it kind of refreshing and a little watery. It'd be something really nice to drink on a very hot day if you're really thirsty. This would quench your thirst very nicely. Seven and a half percent, you can get away with drinking a couple of few of these too. That's not that high. Start getting over eight, nine, then you're looking at, you know, getting your buzz on real quick. Excuse me. It's kind of got that, almost that fresh green hop kind of note too. Like you just squeeze some fresh wet hop juice in there. Kind of has that little bit. Really good. I like it. Very tasty, uh, fruity, citrusy. Nice. Pause. Come back. See, pick up some more notes. Cheers. Ooh, okay, I'm back. Yeah, this is tasty stuff. I mean, not bad. Not bad at all. We'll swill it one more time, we'll wrap it up. Cheers. Yeah, I'm getting that kind of orange rind kind of note there in the aroma and the sip. It's like orange rind. Kind of like that white stuff that's in between the peel and the, the orange itself. Yeah, like that. Definitely orange is the, the winner on this one. And that little grapefruit coming through guava, maybe. Very nice, very nice. I like it. It's not overly sweet. It's got a little tanginess to it, little, little zing, a little zinginess to it. You know, really nice. Look at that. Clinging to the glass, real good. Very, very nice beer. Very good. If you like kind of fruity kind of beers, this this is a good one. I think it's more like a New England style, personally. I think it makes it to the New England style size, aside, but I, it doesn't say nothing about NEPA or New England. So uh, it just says Juicy IPA. Tasty though. So with that said, scale of one to five stars, I'm gonna give this puppy a 4.7. I think it's that freaking good, it's yummy. So get it fresh. Uh, IV Station, Juicy and your Pale L. Get it fresh, it's tasty. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. And uh, we'll catch you all later, okay? Sub, late.